Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. I was wondering what the current debt is, seeing how Congress last night passed to uh, raise our national debt by at least $4 trillion in the next two years. It possibly probably could be a lot more. So we're currently, <laughs> yeah, almost $32 trillion in debt. And then I was looking over here, um, how much taxes they bring in. Um, yeah, we got U.S. federal tax revenue. Now that's $4 trillion. Uh, revenue per citizen, 13951 Um, state revenue. There's all kinds of different information on here that you can look at. Um, yeah. Um, how do they expect that we're gonna ever pay this off? So the, uh, GDP ratio, it shows it in red. Does that mean we're in the red? Uh, 120.47. Over here, you got, uh, gross domestic product, uh, 26 trillion, uh, 413,000, et cetera, et cetera. Total interest for our debt is 3 trillion. What the heck are we gonna get that kind of money? How many generations is it gonna take to pay off that debt? Well, more than likely, um, yeah, Rome will fall. Let's see, down here it's got savings per family. Yeah, interesting stuff. Um, yeah, the economy can't continue with this kind of debt. Um, I was watching or reading a report about, about Janet Yellen. She figured the economy was good because it was based on inflation rates which we all know they lie about inflation inflation is much higher uh, <laughs> yeah um, what they say um eight percent well it's a lot more than that more like 50 percent on many products and they do not add in um inflation for food and i believe oil is another one i could be wrong you guys would know the washington post today had an article about who supported the bill and who did not support the bill. 165 Democrats and 149 Republicans. I'm going to look up the bill later today. See if I can download, what, 91, 90 pages, and I'm going to read it. I guess they're still going to hire um, the IRS agents, maybe 10% less than what they originally said. Ooh, wow, 10%. So I was looking through the documents of all the different states. I'm not surprised California voted for it. But what did surprise me is how many um, from Florida supported the bill. And I'll show you this. I'll give you a link so you can go through it. Blue would be Democrat and red would be um, Republican. And there was one on here from South Dakota. And I just got off the phone complaining to them which was Dusty Johnson. He represents um, us here in South Dakota. Here on the government webpage, it says that he passed, uh, let me go back here, it keeps moving, um, China from purchasing land, agricultural land here in the United States. Um, another one he opposes uh, to Biden's cancellation of the student debt. He is one young guy. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look up how old he is. A Ocean Shipping Reform Act, that's about China. Let's see, uh, I haven't gone through this. I'm going to have to look at this. Traveler's Gun Right Act. Let's see, USDA implements Johnson Cattle Proposal. That was called the Butcher Block Act. It would be a loan and a grant program for new and expanding meat processing uh, to drive competition within the packing industry. But a lot of this you're probably not interested in. Um, I don't think they should pass a law just for China to um, prevent them from purchasing agriculture. 
I think they shouldn't be allowed to purchase businesses or even homes, things like that. And that all started when uh, China bought some farmland there near Grand Forks, North Dakota, uh, near the uh, Air Force Base. On Twitter, he retweeted Kevin McCarthy. Oh, he's in bed with him. How he said Republicans narrowly controlled one half to one third of the federal government. Yet we are still able to use our leverage to cut wasteful spending uh, compared to last year, this year's, and next year's uh, Biden's budget. What a load of, you know what. Yeah, he's not very old. I wonder how old he is. So I guess he's 46 years old. Claims to have come from a working class family. He evidently has... Uh, worked for the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and it, that was in 2003. And it looks like he became a representative for South Dakota in, what, 2016? I don't know how he can claim to come from a working-class family um, for himself. He's always been in government ever since he uh, graduated uh, with an MPA from the University of Kansas. Four people didn't vote. One was from Indiana, one from Colorado, one from Minnesota, and North Carolina. So let's go down here and I'll show you the states. Um, the left column is those that voted for you know, the $4 trillion and plus in debt. And then the right column is the ones that opposed it. And we'll come down. I only went through part of the list when I found my representative from South Dakota. Let's see where it's at. Or, yeah, let's see where it's at. Uh, let's see. Yeah, how the heck do they think we're going to pay off this debt? Yeah, unless they uh, bring in the... Uh, digital banking system and everything is forgiven are they going to be uh giving away uh land to china or who else whoever else um that we borrowed money from are we going to give alaska to china or maybe yeah maybe we should give them california or new york city or chicago yeah our our five highest crime states uh, maybe we should do that areas dusty johnson south dakota then we got two from ohio pennsylvania another one from ohio yeah i don't know what do you think do you see your states on here have you called up your representative and made a note of that for the next election let's see who else we got on here uh, yeah, a lot from New York, of course. Yeah, we know how New York's crime's gone sky high. And yeah, these criminals, 14, 15 times arrested and yeah, just let go. And yeah, but if you put your feet up on a desk in Congress, yeah, you get 18 years of um, prison time. Yeah, yeah. There's one from Alaska. Let's see. Got to come down a little bit farther. There's a lot of them on there. Oregon. Yeah, Oregon's gone to poop too lately. Yeah, Georgia. A lot from Georgia. Yeah. We'll come down here. Minnesota, California, New York, Wisconsin, Utah. Uh, Washington, another one from Ohio. Yeah, let's see. Illinois, New Mexico, Texas, Florida. See, I'm just surprised about Florida, the representatives from Florida. And that is it. Let me bring it down a little bit farther. He is my only representative from South Dakota. Yep, just wait until the next election. Yeah, working class family. Maybe his parents were ranchers or farmers. I don't know. 
He talks about this bill, how it's a win, which is all a bunch of hogwash. I know you guys don't want to hear it. A lot of you don't. But for the entire four years when Trump was in office, he raised the debt by $4 trillion. Not $4 trillion in just two years. What, does he figure that a bad bill is better than no bill at all? So they're spending $4 trillion in just two years. But he figures this bill is going to save um, $1.5 trillion over 10 years. Hogwash. Bull hockey. We fought for our independence because of taxation. Well, we still got more and more taxation. And our representatives, Congress, Senate, the judicial system, continue to show us that they are not representing us. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Have you called your representatives? This is the second time I've called mine within the last probably two weeks. They're still going to send billions of dollars to other governments that should be used here if they got a hole in their pocket and they want to spend money so fast. Well, spend it on our streets. Spend it on our schools. Spend it on our veterans. You know, if that money is burning a hole in their pocket so bad, um, don't spend it at all. Do cutbacks. I am. I'm going to get that 91-page document, and I'm going to see what's in it. If you have a link where I can acquire it, get the full document, let me know. Yeah, it might be hard for me to find. I don't know. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please like, share, and call your representatives if you're either for it or for against it. And please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.